The Institute of Energy Security has called on government to govern by example by paying its debt to Gridco as it warns other institutes of debts owed to the power distributor. IES observed Gridco needs all monies owed it to sustain its operations in 2020. Nana Damwa is the communications director at the Energy Ministry. It is critical for us to let every other person and entity know that any other player within the energy space is up and doing and they will be coming after you. If you have any reason that justifies the current condition of things, please do not hesitate to get in touch with them and make the necessary arrangements. The energy sector belongs to all of us and we must act to ensure that it becomes stable and is sustained. Executive Director of IES is Parkwesi Anamuasechi. It's not out of place for government to call on institutions to pay their debt to Grid Co. But charity begins at home. Government itself is a major contributor to this debt. Old all the utilities in the power sector will have expected government to tell us exactly how they are going to clear the debt. As at October 2019, ECG owed Gridco in excess of 640 million cities, including an outstanding debt of about 607 million cities before handing over to PDS in March 2019. PDS, on the other hand, owes about 94.2 million cities, which ECG collected during the suspension of PDS as at September 30, 2019. Netco owes 177 million cities. Valco owes Gridco over $32 million. We understand very well that Gridco itself is supposed to deal with all the other players in the stream fairly and non-discriminatory. So if you had the boldness to uh, disconnect Valco, why didn't you disconnect ECG and Netco? We should be fair here. What VACO owes about $32 million. What NETCO owes is about $31 million. And what ECG owes GRICO is about $127 million. GRITCO is also demanding some 250 million cities, which President Nana Ekufu Ado directed the finance ministry to pay. The IES boss noted GRITCO needs money to sustain its operations in 2020. Whatever we want to see in the sector in form of uh, efficiency from Grico as a transmitter, they will require this cash to retool their system to ensure that even the uh, um, transmission losses of about 4.5% on annual basis could come down if they could lift up their, uh, their power lines, the voltage. Since December 11, 2019, Gridco has been on the warpath demanding government to pay debt it owes to the power distributor.